Hello and welcome to my latest video. It's been a few days since I've uploaded a video. Um, and this is one of a number um, I am going to record um, as I have a very busy weekend. Okay, so what I'm going to do is after this one, I'm going to record some more, get them saved, ready to upload. And then over the weekend, I'll periodically upload them. Um, roughly keep, trying to keep to the same times, one at maybe lunch, one at night time. But they'll be there, so it'll be easy for me to do. Uh, as I'm very busy. So, fighter number 460, okay, is former heavyweight champion Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko beat eight world champions in his career, and Vitaly had a total of 10 fights against world champions overall. And Vitaly comes in having fought 69 rounds against those champions. Against Hall of Famers, Vitaly Klitschko beat no Hall of Fame fighters. Uh, and when you look at his resume, I'm not surprised. Uh, but he did have one fight against a Hall of Famer, and he lost it, of course, to Lennox Lewis. And he fought six rounds against Hall of Famers. Now, in world title fights, Vitaly Klitschko has a large title fight record, coming in with 17 world title fights. Vitaly also made 12 title defences and fought a total of 133 title fight rounds. Now, against um, pound-for-pound rated fighters, Vitaly Klitschko beat three pound-for-pound rated fighters and he had a total of four fights overall against pound for pounders. And in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Vitaly Klitschko comes in with a total of 13. So Vitaly Klitschko places for 60th. Uh, fantastic heavyweight. Um, I rate him as a tougher fight than his brother. His brother's more accomplished and has the better resume um, and more accomplishments. But Vitaly Klitschko would have won the fight, was the better fighter in my book. But his resume can't get him any higher, I'm afraid. So fighter number 459, a current active fighter who can still go higher, um, Juan Francisco Estrada. Um, the current super flyweight, okay, has beaten nine world champions in his career and Estrada has had 12 fights against world champions and he's come in having fought 134 rounds against those champions he has faced. Now against Hall of Famers, which is um, something that may change later, of course, he's a current active fighter. He has beaten no Hall of Fame fighters, Estrada. He's had no fights against Hall of Famers and fought no rounds against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, Estrada at the moment has a total of 12 world title fights. He has also made eight title defences so far in his career and he's fought a total of 125 title fight rounds. Now Estrada has beaten three pound for pound rated fighters and he's had a total of six fights against pound for pound rated fighters overall. And Juan Francisco Estrada comes in with a total of 13 fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Fame fighters. So Juan Francisco Estrada is an active fighter. He's got the third fight with Roman Gonzalez. His stats and everything um, and his score will improve, okay, as time goes on for as long as he goes on. Uh, to see where he ends up, we'll have to just check in the future. So on to the next fighter who has been very disappointing at welterweight but was a fantastic light welterweight fighter um, and it's sad his career really went off the boil starting at Rod Salka, Mauricio Herrera and then continuing off the boil after a fantastic start. Danny Garcia has beaten 10 world champions in his career um, today and he's had a total of 14 fights against world champions. Now Danny Garcia has also fought a total of 144 rounds against champions and against Hall of Famers he's beaten one Hall of Fame fighter. He's had had two fights against Hall of Famers and Danny Garcia has fought 16 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Something in my mouth. So Danny Garcia has had a total of 10 world title fights. He's made five title defences and he has fought 104 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Danny Garcia has beaten four pound for pound rated fighters from a total of seven fights overall against pound for pounders and in fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers danny garcia has a total of 18. so danny garcia started out so promising okay down at light welterweight beating khan beating judah beating matisse becoming unified lineal champion and his career has really gone off the boil and it's a shame to have seen but this is what happens Sometimes. So, fighter number 457, okay, is tough light heavyweight contender Oakland Billy Smith. Oakland Billy Smith beat one world champion in his career. Um, he had a total of nine fights against world champions overall, and Oakland Billy Smith fought a total of 71 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Oakland Billy Smith beat two Hall of Fame fighters, and he had a total of 11 fights against Hall of Famers overall. Um, and Oakland Billy Smith fought a total of 90 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. 
fighters. Now, in world title fights, Oakland Billy Smith had no world title fights, thus made no title defences and fought no title fight rounds, the latest in a long line of fighters who never got a title shot. Oakland Billy Smith beat two pound-for-pound rated fighters and had a total of 14 fights against pound-for-pound rated fighters overall. And Oakland Billy Smith, okay, comes in with a large total, okay, down at this level of 31 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. Oakland Billy Smith could be a very dangerous light heavyweight contender to face. He suffered his share of defeats but also mixed in tough company, fighting many tough contenders, world champions, etc., and Hall of Famers. Uh, a very tough handful if he was on a good day. So fighter number 456, okay, is the tickler, Randy Turpin. Randy Turpin, okay, beat one world champion. Uh, Randy Turpin had three fights against world champions overall, and Randy Turpin fought 40 rounds against champions. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, he has the same numbers. Randy Turpin beat one Hall of Fame fighter in his career. He had three fights against Hall of Famers and fought a total of 40 rounds against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, Randy Turpin had a total of three world title fights he made zero title defences and Randy Turpin fought a total of 40 title fight rounds. And against pound for pound rated fighters, Randy Turpin beat two pound for pound rated fighters. He had a total of four fights overall against pound for pounders. And in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Randy Turpin comes in with a total of 19 fights. Now Randy Turpin to me is not an all-time great, but he did score one of the greatest upsets, maybe the greatest upset in boxing history by beating unbeaten, okay, in over 90 fights, Sugar Ray Robinson, uh, who'd only had one defeat in over 130 fights. Um, you know, an incredible upset, um, but not one of the greatest careers of all time for Randy Turpin, albeit one of the greatest upsets. So fighter number 455, okay, is the tough and heavyweight um, contender, Arturo Godoy, uh, a rugged fighter he was. He beat one world champion in his career, and Arturo Godoy fought a total of six rounds against champions. Um, and against rounds against champions, Arturo Godoy came in with a total of 67. Now, against Hall of Fame fighters, Arturo Godoy beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had six fights against Hall of Famers overall and fought a total of 67 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now, in world title fights, Arturo Godoy had two world title fights. He made zero title defences, and Godoy fought a total of 23 title fight rounds. And against pound-for-pound pound rated fighters, Arturo Godoy beat one pound-for-pound pound rated fighter, and he had a total of eight fights overall um, throughout his career against pound-for-pounders. And in fights against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers, Arturo Godoy has a huge total, OK, coming in at a massive 41. So, you know, it's not just Joe Lewis's, it's also many of the best contenders of his time uh, and most many of the top 10 contenders of his time Arturo Godoy fought uh, he has a huge career as well compared to some of the recent heavyweights in my countdown so Arturo Godoy is 455 let's go on to fight number 454 who also in his division was a tough and dependable contender it is one Rocky Castellani now Rocky Castellani okay beat three world champions in his career and Castellani had a total of seven fights against world champions overall um, and in total Rocky Castellani fought 75 rounds against champions now against hall of fame fighters rocky castellani beat one hall of fame fighter he had a total of five fights overall against hall of famers and fought a total of 55 rounds against hall of fame fighters now rocky castellani did have one world title fight he made zero title defenses and castellani did fight 15 title fight rounds and against pound for pound rated fighters okay Rocky Castellani beat two pound for pound rated fighters and he had a total overall in his career of eight fights against pound for pound fighters fights against rated fighters champions or hall of famers uh, the latest one there's quite a few fighters on this particular ten with quite a high number not high compared to all the numbers on uh, my database but very high at this level with 31 fights against rated fighters champions or Hall of Fame fighters. So, Oakland, Billy Smith, Castellani and Godoy 
well-travelled in fighting champions, all of famous and many top contenders. Uh, these guys had tough careers. So on to fighting number 453. Um, and this fight it is heavyweight Peter Jackson. Now some people say he should be higher. Me personally, he doesn't rate higher in my database um, for a number of reasons I won't go into. But Peter Jackson beat one world champion. He had a total of three fights against world champions overall. Um, and Peter Jackson fought a total of 82 rounds against champions. Now you look at that, three fights against champions, but 82 rounds. Work it out. Now, Peter Jackson beat no Hall of Fame fighters. He did have two fights against Hall of Famers and fought a total of 64 rounds against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, he had one world title fight. He made zero title defences and fought a total of 19 title fight rounds. And what a tough fight that was uh, against another fellow fantastic fighter. Peter Jackson beat two pound pound rated fighters and he had a total of four fights against pound pound rated fighters overall. And in fights against rated fighters, champions are Hall of Famers, a number that would be higher, of course. Um, Peter Jackson, a full-time pre-rating here, a fighter long before the ratings he was fighting. So he has a total of three fights against rated fighters, champions are Hall of Famers. So a great heavyweight, okay, but not to me one of the great heavyweight records, even though there's some signature names on there, um, you know, not to match the heavyweight greats to come in the countdown. But speaking of heavyweights, we go to a heavyweight now, fighter number 452, did have a very tough career. Um, it is one Zara Foley, he was also one of the best heavyweight contenders uh, of the 1960s. He beat one world champion. He had a total of four fights against world champions and Zara Foley fought a total of 30 rounds against champions. Now, Zara Foley beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had a total of three fights against Hall of Famers overall and Zara Foley fought 20 rounds against Hall of Famers. And in world title fights, Zara Foley had one world title fight. He made zero title defences uh, and Foley fought a total of seven title fight rounds. That, of course, was against the great Muhammad Ali himself. Zara Foley beat one pound pound rated fighter in his career, and he had a total of three fights against pound pound rated fighters overall. And in fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers, Zara Foley, as a former heavyweight contender and title challenger, comes in uh, not quite at Arturo Godoy's amount of 41, but still with a total of 33 which is more than double Vitaly Klitschko's record against rated fighters, champions, or Hall of Famers. You know, Zora Foley had quite a tough career. Fought a lot of good fighters. So, Zora Foley is in 452. We have one name to go, okay? And he's a fighter I've covered this year on the blue screen, okay? Let us go to fight number 451 now. Um, and that fighter is Sammy Slaughter. Sammy Slaughter, okay, beat one world champion, uh, Slaughter had a total of eight fights against world champions and he fought a total um, coming in at 76 rounds. Now against Hall of Fame fighters, Sammy Slaughter beat one Hall of Fame fighter. He had seven fights against Hall of Famers overall and Sammy Slaughter fought 61 rounds against Hall of Fame fighters. Now in world title fights, Sammy Slaughter had zero world title fights. He made zero title defences and fought zero title fight rounds. Um, so the latest fighter on a long list. Now, if someone went through all my videos like this and put listed the name of every fighter who never got a title shot, you would have a huge list. Sammy Slaughter beat two pound pound rated fighters. He had a total of eight fights against pound pound rated fighters overall. And Sammy Slaughter also comes in with a large tally as the number of fighters on this uh, video of 10 half, uh, with 36 fights against rated fighters, champions or Hall of Famers. So there's my latest video, people. Like I said, more will be recorded. They'll be uploaded periodically over the weekend. I'll, like I say, on the night, I'll upload one at me similar times. Very busy weekend ahead. No time for anything else, including videos. So I have to get some recorded now so I can upload them at weekend while I'm busy. But there's my latest video. I'm out for now.